So now we're talking about rippling and ripple cut. Now what do I mean by this? I mean if I remove uh, a clip, I want everything that's after that clip to automatically move up and meet and fill the space that I've removed without me having to select everything afterwards. I could have multiple tracks, uh, video or audio, with multiple different layers and it can get um, quite tricky to try and select all of those and manually move them up and you can cause yourselves all sorts of pain. So what you really want to do is have uh, a rippling effect going on. So first thing I want to show you how to do the standard ripple and then we'll show you how you do the ripple cut in both of these softwares. So in Vegas Pro you may not have noticed but down the bottom there is this feature here called Auto Ripple and it will save you so much time in editing. If you haven't discovered this before, you're welcome. What this does is it automatically moves the contents of the timeline after performing edits to that that add or remove things from the timeline, okay? So if I was to create uh, another split here and then I was to grab this cut in the middle between the, the two, let's move this over here and then I was to hit delete. Do you see that what happened there? Let me show you that again. What happened there is that when I hit delete, the clip that was after it jumped and the start of that clip, clip three, is now at the exact point that clip two's had started. That's really beneficial. Now, Another neat trick with the ripple being on is if I drag this, the third clip, you see that it moves by itself. But if I grab the clip or any clip in front of that clip, all other clips after it move accordingly along the timeline. So that they don't fall out of sync. Let's show you this by grabbing the first one. And you see that clips two and three all move along the timeline, you know, without losing their sync, which is great. Same thing happens if I want to drop this here, grab two, I can now move two and three back and forward. First of all, let's do uh, another split clip here. And we'll drag this up here and we'll drag this over here. Now, you can right click and do ripple cut. As you can see, I've set the hotkey to D, but what that does is it's actually slightly different ripple cut you'll see that the, the third cut only moved forward by the same length as the media that I removed from the timeline during the cut. Now, that has its benefits and drawbacks, but that's how you would do that in DaVinci. So if I had these clips together, it would do the same as, as we saw previously. So I could press D, you'll see that the media moves forward and jumps into the place. So to mitigate this in DaVinci Resolve, there's actually a cool feature called delete gaps, and it's kind of hidden. So I want to show you this. Now I've actually got delete gaps set up as a hotkey, so again I'll show you how to do that. But if I press delete gaps here on my uh, Elgato Stream Deck, you'll see that it then forces all the gaps to be closed up and your, your video gets you know, resealed back together. So if I was to do something really outrageous like a number of cuts here and grab this one and uh, let's go control X because if I go D it will all move up so if I go control X and just cut the bits out then control X, the difference between control X which is cut and ripple cut is ripple cut moves the media after it forward by the same amount of time in DaVinci Resolve as the media you've removed. If you just cut then all it does is remove the media from the timeline. So then if I press my delete gaps hotkey I've got here you can see all the media jumps together and forms that nice tight package. Now I do this at the end of editing each of my videos because I do a lot of edits, a lot of cuts and I want to make sure that there's not going to be a random black spot there for half a second in the video that I have missed. Sometimes this can be really quite difficult. There's multiple ways to approach this but the delete gaps works well. It's not without its flaws but we'll talk about that in another video. So let's talk about those two things we just spoke about there. We we'll go to preferences, we we'll go to end user, key mapping and delete gaps, which I have actually set to shift and G, but I've got that set up in my Elgato Stream Deck, so I don't need to remember that. I'll cut to 
a shot of my Elgato Stream Deck with the hotkeys I'm using on here. Um, and we'll do a whole other video on my Elgato Stream Deck and how I'm using that for uh, recording and, and content creation because that's a whole other video. So delete gaps is the one you want right there and ripple cut which is set to D. Okay so in DaVinci if you want to do a, a ripple effect um, essentially what you have to do is if you've got a bunch of tracks like this select the, the first track you want and then press alt and y so alt and y selects all of the clips going forward of the point in where your timeline cursor is and then you can drag and do the same tricks as you did in Vegas now the problem here is that you can't then select this one and do it and then select that one and do it um, you have to sort of deselect, go to another point, say here, go Alt and Y and then select. But you can do it. 